Hey, Raleigh's getting ready to build the city's first bus rapid transit line, or BRT, along Newbern Avenue. This is what it's going to look like. It's going to have bus stops that actually look like train stations. Right now, the city is rezoning hundreds of properties along that route to allow for taller buildings and new development. As WRL's Matt Tallhelm reports, Oakwood neighbors are meeting tonight to talk about their concerns with this growth. The homes of historic Oakwood are still standing because neighbors stopped plans for a highway through here 50 years ago. And they were able to fight it, and the neighborhood is still there because they were successful. Dee Penvin Crew leads preservation efforts in the neighborhood now. It's a true community, not just a neighborhood. Now, parts of Oakwood and neighborhoods along Newburn Avenue are in the path of Raleigh's first bus rapid transit, or BRT, route. The city wants to rezone land along the line to encourage denser development within walking distance of future BRT stations. 744 properties outlined in purple on this map would fall under the Transit Overlay District, or TOD. That zoning allows for taller buildings up to five or seven stories and offers incentives for developers to build affordable housing. The people who live there actually use the buses. They're going to move them out and move people in to the new places who won't actually ride the buses. Property owners can ask to be removed from the TOD or added in. That requires city council's approval. Look at them, see what's there and see what they're destroying or potentially destroying, what they're incentivizing the destruction of. Penvin Crew hopes to stop the demolition of historic properties. And we have some properties that'll be replaced and then they'll, they'll put a historic marker up that says, this used to be here. She also wants to avoid losing existing affordable housing to new development when BRT begins running along through East Raleigh. So we are also going to bat for the neighborhoods that are to our east because they're gonna have more significant impacts. Matt Tallhelm, WRAL News, Raleigh. The community meeting is, is at the Open Table Church at 7 o'clock. Construction for the BRT is expected to start this fall. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll take you to another state capital where bus rapid transit has been running for five years. We'll show you what it will look like when it hits the streets here and how it's going to change commute times. Stakes are in the ground on Newburn Avenue in Raleigh. This is where the city's bus rapid transit is going to run. This transit, the transit line is going to run. Construction expected to start this fall on the 5.4 mile route between Raleigh and New Hope Road. Now, this is what BRT is going to look like. It promises more frequent, more reliable service that can cut travel time by 10 minutes compared to today's buses. The question is, is anybody going to ride this because of it? Matt Tallhelm finds out on the road in another state. Through the sea of congested car traffic. BRT to main slash broad slash Willow Lawn, arriving in nine minutes. BRT comes cruising down the road. BRT, people don't know what bus rapid transit means. Faith Walker leads the nonprofit RVA Rapid Transit in Richmond, Virginia. So we advocate for frequent and far reaching public transportation in the region. For Richmond, that's the pulse. The 7.6 mile BRT route runs down the busy Broad Street stopping at 14 destination centers Convention center eastbound station every 10 minutes during peak commute times. This is cut down people's travel time tremendously, so people are able to connect to different points a lot faster. That's because the Pulse travels in its own lanes and triggers its own traffic lights to get ahead of traffic. From Drone 5, you can see those lanes painted red on the pavement. Raleigh's first BRT will look a lot like this as it travels Newburn Avenue out of downtown toward Wake Med. The BRT runs each direction down the median. The stops are also in the middle of the road and they look less like a bus stop, more like a train station. You can see they are covered here with plenty of seating and there's also a platform you can see right down here so that when that bus arrives, when it pulls in in its own dedicated lane right here, it comes in, it docks as they call it, and you can step right on board. Our riders um, are primarily low income. Um, and primarily using it to go to work. How has BRT worked for Richmond? It has really worked for Richmond. It's just not a good productive system that they have in place. Lynetta Thompson fought against the city's plans for the Pulse. This is our civil rights complaint to U.S. Department of Transportation. She was president of the Richmond NAACP when the city was debating BRT. I feel like we lost. Thompson says bus rapid transit is driving gentrification along the route. They are bought in a whole new different group of businesses, another layer, another tier of, of a community, and um, 
And that's not a problem if we all get to share in it, but we don't. That's a concern for some neighbors along Raleigh's New Bern Avenue. They worry developers will be attracted to build up along the BRT. But with the hindsight of five years of BRT service in Richmond. This area actually was declining. I mean, this was the heart of our city. Walker sees proof of a rebound along the route. So now, because the BRT has come, a lot of retailers, a lot of investors um, have put money back into this area. She encourages Raleigh to involve the community in planning for bus rapid transit and to make sure future development includes affordable housing. What we don't want is transit dependent people who depend on public transportation being pushed out. In Richmond, Virginia, Matt Tallhelm, WRAL News. Leave a comment and share this video with your friends. With daily uploads, there will always be a conversation.